Hey around here, today we are going to go over the pros and cons of choosing the faction Arnor. For our first pro, we have easy access to resources. The land that Arnor occupies at the start of the game is a pretty good spread of the four available resources, wood, stone, iron, and grain. Secondly, the position of Arnor on the map gives you access to many of the neutral camps that can be used to recruit units or train commanders on to increase their level, or XP farm neutral camps. Some of the neutral camps that are easily accessible with some traveling include Hobbit Slingers, Hobbit Hunters, Dunlendings, Eagles to the North, and Barrowites. Another awesome pro is the access to keeps that provide great bonuses like the Stone Trolls that provide plus 5% to commander experience gains, and Weather Top, which gives plus 3% to siege damage. Next, we have lower construction cost. This can help in the early and mid game as you can spend less resources on building and more resources on conscripting troops. This allows you to stay in the fight longer and maintain your armies a bit easier. Next, we have the Tier 4 unit, which is awesome in concept and can lead to some really cool builds. If used properly, they can make for some really fun engagements. However, they only perform really well in the open field, which make them not as strong as many of the other tier 4 units, making the Rangers of the North a first con as well. Generally, Arnor seems to be one of the lower picks when it comes to popularity. Most people, when being introduced to the game, are going to pick a faction that they are most familiar with, and Arnor just isn't one of those factions. Probably the biggest con for Arnor is the faction's map position in relation to the goals of the game. First of all, Linden only has one path to get anywhere, and that is through you. Secondly, you are completely surrounded on all sides by opposing factions. Lastly, your position in relation to the ring makes sure that you must either fight through tunnels, an opposing faction, or both to even think about claiming the ring. All of this actually leads into a bonus point that I want to make. Arnor is a challenge suited for a good group of people who have been playing together for a few seasons. You need to be able to balance politics, alliances, war, resource gathering, and leveling while being surrounded by so many factions that can put a damper on those plans rather quickly. Arnor is not for the faint of heart.